Yes, sir. Now throw your drive in reverse if you can and pedal him out of there. You got him. Good job, bro. That's a snook. Yes, sir. Hey, good morning, Saw Yackers. Welcome back to the channel. Y'all remember this dude? He came down to see us. This is Josh, by the way. He came down to see us oh, about a year ago, went fishing with us, caught him a pretty nice shark. Josh, I can't remember where you're from. Somewhere in the deep south. Uh, Kentucky. Kentucky, that's right. So he's back again. Want to do it again. We're not chasing sharks today, though. We're looking for some different stuff. We're at one of my very favorite spots. We're going to look for snook. We're going to look for redfish. May even find the odd tarpon. We're set up for a little bit of everything. So, Josh, welcome back. Hey, guys, check out that hat. That sucker there got some miles on it. It's nearly as faded out as mine. <laughs> so, all right, you ready? It's time. Let's go, bud. Let's get out there. Let's go fresh in. So, we've been on the water a couple minutes. Like, three <laughs> and oh josh has already got his second fish on this one little spot here he got him a little jack a minute ago we didn't get the camera on for it because it was awful small but now he's got him a little speckled sea trout good way to start the morning good job brother and then i'm gonna hand you this because them old trout after you let him go them old trout are so slimy whoa that's all right you can kind of wipe your hands with it. So when Josh got to town, he went to one of our local tackle shops here and bought himself a pretty nice little combo to have. I think he had a Daiwa Fuego, and I don't know if that's a 2,500 size, if I had to guess, or 2,000, something like that. 3,000, all right. And on a sweet Daiwa rod, and uh, he's casted that that uh rod two or three times now and got two fish on it already <laughs> that's not a bad way to start <laughs> now we just gotta upsize them all right here we go let's take a little drag that new fuego getting a workout here what's it gonna be oh don't be hanging deep like that don't be a catfish no that ain't a catfish Oh, it is a catfish. It's a sail cat. It's a different species. He ain't near as nasty as a hardhead. He's all right to touch. You know, just like you would grab a catfish at home by the belly, you know. Or you can just shake him off, whichever you prefer. Good job, dude. Check out the line. Look like boogers, doesn't it? That's the slime off his skin. <laughs> but he's experiencing... Now listen, if it's wrapped around that pylon, don't pull too hard. Try to get in there and put your rod tip past that pylon and try to get the line off of it. You know what I'm saying? He's got a good fish on here, guys. It was pulling drag. See if you can reach that rod tip past it. There you go. Yeah, now you're going. Can you feel him? All right. Yes, sir. Now throw your drive in reverse if you can and pedal him out of there. You got him. Good job, bro. That's a snook. Yes, sir. Use your, use your net. Use your net. Use your net. He will get off. <laughs> let me tell you something guys he earned that fish <laughs> it took him around the pylon the way snook do but he was patient and calm about it and handled it like a friggin champ how's your heart doing right now <laughs> you can just lay it on the boat right there just yes just like that very good now what i'm gonna tell you grab just thumb him but he's very strong and he will flop out of your hands that's a nice snook bro let's use your bump board oh okay so here hold on before you pull it went all the way through and it's out as hey where are my pliers 
Daggum it, I can't ever find them when I need them. Can you just cut the hook off? Oh, it just came right through. Okay. That's a beaut, brother. You want to put him on your bump board, which is sitting down there. Just lay it across your lap. Yeah, don't let him go. I can't tell you how many snook I've lost at this stage of the game. Yep. Yep, yep. Look up. How long? 22. 22. I bet he could be pinched to 22 and a half. Hey, that's a nice snook, bro. Is that your first snook? First snook. <laughs> you earned that one the way you caught him. Now, what I want you to do is to release him over here on this side with your thumb on his bottom jaw. There you go, like that. Put him down here and hold him firm. Don't let him go just yet. And just let him get right in the water column. Yeah, there you go. Get him a little deeper if you can. Okay, you're going to feel him start biting you. And then open your grip and he's just going to hold on to your thumb. He's going to suck on your thumb. Is he biting you? Try to pull your thumb out now and see. <laughs> yeah, he bite you a little bit. Oh, thumb sucker there. Yeah, he ready. He good. <laughs> See? Uh-huh. <laughs> See you, buddy. Now just touch his tail and he'll go. <laughs> I can't reach you, but Nux. <laughs> Good job, dude. Open your bail up. There you go, and just leave it open. Where'd you go, you little turkey? Okay, here he comes. All right, uh, hang on. Yeah, reel it up, because he's kind of, oh wait, he's going down. He wants it, but he's a little nervous. Okay, he's eating it now, isn't he? All right, throw your boat in reverse and kick this way. Leave that bale open and let him swim with it. Oh no, you got him hooked now. <laughs> Whoa! He just figured out that he's hooked. Well, he ain't very feisty, is he? He ain't acting normal for a black tip. Boy, isn't he pretty, though? What are you doing, little guy? Well, let me get out your way. Pedal forward, and we'll get you out here in the open. <laughs> we thought we were snook fishing, but then this little little shark come cruising along, and it's awful hard to say no to that. <laughs> There he is. Little black tail. I'm gonna run right over him again. All right, I'll walk you through this or I'll do it for you. So first, let me get my pliers handy. I just had them right here. So all you gotta do, like you might remember he is not slippery at all. So you wanna grab him. I'll grab him first just so you can see how. You just wanna get him like this on the back. Mm -hmm. Look at, he's been caught before. Look at his mouth. Need to get you a picture with him. Well, sorry, no picture, bro. 
<laughs> yeah, he was pretty. I know you can see that thing flashing around. They're fun when they're like that, you know, when, when you can see them and have them come side eat it. Here he comes. Here, you want him? He's going to eat it. Here, here, here. Bale's open. Give me that other eye. He's on, go ahead, close that bale. He's like, what? <laughs> Not again. Oh no. That's not the same one. He's a little more lively. Just enjoy him. You know what I'm saying? Are you fast? <laughs> Check him out, guys. He got him another little little baby black tip. They're thick in here in this canal. Whoa! <laughs> oh. I think so too. Uh, I agree. So on this one, you'll just grab him just like I did on the back, just in front of his dorsal fin. So he can't, like if you get him too far back, he'll spin all the way around on you. Uh, but if you just get him just in front of his dorsal fin on his back, he's not slippery. Be careful to not hit his gills. You know, we don't want to hurt him. And then bring him in. And I usually kind of put my feet up like this so you can have him here and not worry about him biting your dang toes. <laughs> I got that on my oh yeah and he decided he wasn't quite ready yet too huh yeah josh put sun just put sunscreen on just a minute ago so his hands are slippery get your feet out the boat bro there you go now i'm gonna move us out here in the middle of the canal so we're not bumping people's boats <laughs> that's awesome dude Yeah, a little further back so that you're not on his gills there. You go right there, just like that. Yeah. See, he ain't slippery. And you'll have to use your pliers to get that hook out. It's crazy tough. May need to open the bale on the... Okay, oh, come right out easy. Nice. All right, I'm going to pull you out here in the canal, and then we're going to get you a good picture. <laughs> oh, oh, I thought that rod was going in the water. So that's the second little shark sight casted. Sweet. You want to let him uh, th suck your thumb like the snook does? <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe we'll just throw him in. Woo! <laughs> oh, good job, dude. That's fun stuff right there. Again. This time's on the artificial on the paddle tail. Whatever it is, it took drag for a minute. Oh, come on. You're the catfish king, homie. <laughs> you want help or you want to get it? It's another sail cat. The sail cats are edible. Like a master, look at him. He figured these things out already. Good job, dude. Oh, Josh has been doing pretty decent. Let's see if we can get us a fish on now. There's a bite. Got one. What is it? It's hanging deep. Please don't be a catfish. I bet you it is. Are we taking wagers? 
Yeah, little sail cat. I didn't want you to feel lonely on the catfish thing. Dad, go. Fellas, look what these darn fish do to your line. Looks like snot. Yuck. Look at that. Mmm, nom 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 nom. That's nasty. <laughs> All right, saw so yakers. It's gonna be a wrap. Hey, let me tell you something. I had a blast out here today with old Josh. All of you guys, take a note from Josh. Take a tip from him. Guess what? He's just like the rest of us. He's got responsibilities. He's got a job. He's got business that he has to take care of every single day in his life. But he made time to stop and go somewhere cool with the people in his, fa in his life that are important to him, with his family, with his wife and the little girl. They took some time out. They came down to Florida to have a good time. I ain't saying you gotta go to Florida, but you gotta do something. Even if it's just get up and get outside of your house and go outside and do something there. Be sure you do it because you're only gonna get so many chances. Josh, you have a good time today? I do. Let's see, what do we catch? You got a nice snook. You got the uh, uh, trout and uh, jack. Mm -hmm. Couple yeah. sharks. Couple mm -hmm. sharks, yeah. And about a million catfish, I think. A bunch of ladyfish. And we had a ball doing it, guys. So follow him. Do what he's doing. I ain't saying you got to do it down here. I ain't saying you got to do it with me, although I hope you do. But get up and get off that couch and get out there and do it today. Because at the end of it all, if you don't go, you know how to say it, guys. Come on, come along with me. Y'all don't know. Yeah.